What's up everybody, Mr. Barnes here. Today we're gonna to talk about population pyramids. As you can see, here's some population pyramids on the screen. Let me zoom into this one right here because it's the most obvious population pyramid. There's three things that I want you guys to be able to identify on a population pyramid, and that is the base down at the bottom, the sides, obviously on the side, and then right here at the peak, okay? So when on the exam, you have to identify or analyze a population pyramid, you can do so by looking at these three aspects of the population pyramid, and they all tell you something different, okay? The base tells you how high the birth rate is, so the CBR. The sides tell you how high the death rate is, so the CDR, the crude death rate, crude birth rate, and the peak will tell you what the life expectancy is. So on this population pyramid, you can see that it's got a really wide base, which indicates a high CBR, okay? On this population pyramid, it has concave sides, which in indicates a high CDR, and at the uh, peak here, you can see there's not many people in the older age cohorts. That means that this is a low life expectancy. Okay, so this country right here would match up with Burkina Faso, this country right here, all right? Let's get some uh, population pyramid um, movements now. So you can see within this graph, this population pyramid, this is Afghanistan between the years 1990 and 2013, the changes in the population pyramid. The birth rate is ever increasing. The death rate is falling, but not a whole lot. You can see that the, uh, the concave sides are concave throughout the years. And the life expectancy pretty much remains the same. If we compare that to a country like the Philippines, which is maybe a little bit more developed than Afghanistan, or quite a bit more developed than Afghanistan, you'll notice that the uh, sides are starting to straighten out rather than be concave and that's because the death rate is falling. The birth rate is also falling. It's still high, as you can see by the, uh, the continuation of the year after year, it being uh, higher every single year. And then the, uh, the uh, life expectancy is a little bit better than Afghanistan. People are living into those older age cohorts, but because the Philippines is a developing country, you'll notice that the, um, the life expectancy is still a little bit lower. Then, one of your more developed countries, which is the United States here, okay? You'll notice that the birth rate has in fact fallen and is continuing to fall down here at the base. The death rate is very much under control. You have convex sides rather than concave sides. And the life expectancy is also quite high because again, this is one of your more developed countries and so people are living into those older ages. And so again, three things to remember for population pyramids. If you can remember to look at the base, the sides, and the peak. And that's how you analyze a population pyramid. Let's see if I can stop.